Would you believe me that this meat right here comes from a sweet potato? I wouldn't have believed it either until I watched a video over on TikTok on the vegan foodie. He came up with the idea after dehydrating some sweet potato and realizing it looked kind of like a jerky and wanted to rehydrate it. And, and he said he thought he was onto something. And, and I'll tell you, I, I think he was. Now, all I did was I took this sweet potato and I peeled it and then just sliced it up and then threw it into some salted water and boiled it uh, and, and cooked it all the way through. Once the potato was cooked, I then pulled the potato apart. You can really see where, you know, the thought process of this was, where it's like the sweet potato has like these fibrous textures that, you know, it, even though they're soft, they, they resemble the layers of meat. I, I could see this. Now, I know a regular potato doesn't have that same fibrous structure, but I still thought, well, what if I peel it, boil it, and then see what how it comes out once it's dehydrated? I thought maybe that could work. I mean, I don't know. Are these little chunks going to be kind of meaty? I don't know. And I was honestly going to be done there, but then I remembered that the yucca root has like a nice fibery structure. So I thought, uh, why don't we uh, fillet the skin off of this one, chop it up, throw it in some water, boil it down and then let's see I mean is this one gonna be pretty meaty too now it is pretty soft on the inside but it does have some very you know vertical structures throughout uh, and there's also like an internal spine that I did remove out of all of these now for all three of these, the yucca, potato, and sweet potato, I just filled up some dehydrator trays, threw them on my dehydrator at 140 degrees for about 24 hours. Now you don't need a dehydrator and you probably don't need to set them at this. You could probably just toss the sweet potatoes on your, like a baking sheet in your oven with the door left open at its lowest setting for a few hours and it'll probably dehydrate just fine. Uh, but I wanted to go all the way with these. Now, while we're waiting for those to hydrate up, let's make up a marinade. Now I'm not gonna use the same marinade that vegan foodie used, I'm, I'm just making my own. Now, this is just going to be about a quarter of a red onion, uh, three cloves of garlic chopped up, a green onion, uh, minced at the end, and then sliced on the green part. So that way we get like the ribbons and then like the small little green onion, like chives, kind of. We're just going to toss it all together with some black pepper, about a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of rice vinegar, quarter cup maple syrup, a teaspoon of sesame oil, and then just mix that up. And then we just need to set that aside and toss it in the fridge. Okay, real quick, this video right here, I'm curious about your thoughts. Do you like this experiment? Because I have some ideas of where I can take this, but I also want to know your ideas because I get a lot of these ideas from you in the comments anyways. So with this here, I've dehydrated these three things and we're going to hydrate them up to make them meat. I've been very successful with doing that with tofu and it comes out really good. So what else should I do? Let me know because if I make any of them, I'm going to screenshot them and you'll be in the next video. So it's now been about 19 hours. There's still five hours remaining, but it's the next day and I wanted to check on it. So everything looked pretty good. You could see the, these potatoes are, are pretty dry. They're, they're very dry. So at this point, I decided I'm going to end the drying portion. Now, all of these look pretty good. Like you just saw the potato, but even like the yucca, those strands really have came out. So I feel like, I mean, it almost looks like a piece of dehydrated chicken would look. So I think once it's rehydrated, it might have a nice consistency. Now, as far as the sweet potato, we've already seen this. It looks, it's impressive. I mean, really impressive. So I'm just filling up a few extra leftover soup containers that I have with my dehydrated taters. And we're just gonna toss in a few spoonfuls of the marinade just to cover each one of these. I don't want them soaking in the broth. I just I just want them nicely dressed. Now, once I had them all with an even amount of marinade, I just tossed the lid on and just gave them a gentle shake just to make sure they were all completely covered. And then I just threw them in the fridge for about an hour. It's been an hour, here's the potato. You can see it's fully hydrated up. I mean, it looks pretty good and I'm excited about it. So I wanted to cook these all the same way. I just tossed in a little bit of oil and then I actually got a little overzealous on the first one, these potatoes here, and tossed in too much oil. You can see these are swimming in oil. But after a few moments, I was able to drain off some of the oil, finish cooking them the rest of the way, and the potatoes came out pretty good. So now for the yucca, I wanted to start them off with a heck of a lot less oil and I did. And I just kind of tossed them around until they were nice and like, kind of like they crisp up and they were brown and they looked like they were cooked through, but then I just tossed in some water, covered them up and let them steam to finish off. And I think that was the way, that's how I wanted to do the potato. I still feel fairly confident in it. Now with the sweet potato, I started off with the same amount of oil. Everything was cooking together really nice, but the sweet potato had some more starches. Uh, so I will say that it kind of created its own sauce. So after it steamed it, the sweet potato ended up coming out probably the best. I mean, it looked really, really good. So now I just want to see what does Monica have to say about these. In my opinion, I think Vegan Foodie was right. He was on to something. I think the sweet potato is going to win. But first, the regular potato. I like it. Yeah. 
It's dense. Mm -hmm. It's kind of um, hard to bite fully through. You've got to kind of chew it. I love the flavor though. Yeah, good flavor. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of potato-ness to it. A little bit, but not that much. Okay, now let's try out the yuca. <laughs> no, okay. Meaty potato. This is more potato for me. Way more potato. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna get through it. Yeah. This is not a good one. I mean, I still think it tastes good. The, fla the flavor is still good. Mm -hmm. It's hard to eat this. It's too yeah. dense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just too thick. It's, it's too starchy. starchy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So potato I, wins so mm -hmm. far. So the yuca was a fail. The potato was pretty good. So now let's see how Vegan Foodie's sweet potato meat holds up. Mm. Mm. I like this. It's kind of like sweet and sour, you yeah. know, but I still think it leans towards the potato -y side more than the meaty side. Um, let me try it again. It's a nice balance, mm -hmm. honestly. It's a good balance. It's not hard to eat. It's not too dense and it's not too starchy. Yeah. You can tell there's a little bit of starch, but I really like it. Like if this was in something, mm -hmm. you wouldn't really question it. Yeah. Anymore. Would you rather have this or the potato? I think this, I mean, this is much easier to eat. Yeah, you know? me too. Even though that's denser and has a little bit more of a bite, I think this one just has the better texture. Mm -hmm. This it's one's the, the one. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you going to be putting sweet potato meat in your next taco, burrito, poke bowl, whatever you want to do? I, I mean, I'm thinking about it. It was pretty dang good. I hope you try it out.